Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the Dinian Tip of the Week, and this video is inspired by one of our clients that came to us this week, this past week, with a request that he wanted his old URLs, which were PHP based, they were coming from another CMS, they wanted those old URLs to be redirected to new URLs on their new DNN9 website. And we have gone through the exercise of setting this up on his site. And I said, you know what? I should share that on the next DNN tip of the week. And here I am. I hope you enjoy. But I also have a question for you about DNN. If you have a second, check out the link below or in the video description. Before I talk to you about the DNN tip of the week, I would like to talk about a new support plan that we have just launched on Deskpol. At Deskpol, we help you with your DNN website, we help you to maintain, to fix bugs, to add content, we help you to upgrade, we help you to do a bunch of things on your DNN website. Deskpol 1 is a plan, a new plan geared towards the person who needs help with DNN. Whether you have one DNN site, two DNN sites, 10 DNN sites, a thousand DNN sites, it doesn't matter. Because now we are supporting you, the individual, the person, not the site. Of course, we'll help you to fix your site, but we are helping you. If you want more information about what the plan covers, what it doesn't cover, all the details, you can go to deskpal.one. If you want to reach out to me personally, so you can book a time, you can book an appointment, and you can ask me questions, you can ask me anything, maybe about DeskPol, maybe about DeskPol1. Just send me an email to the address below and we can talk. That's it, enjoy the tip of the week. So you want to create redirects from older PHP or HTML pages on your new DNN site. First, let's have a look at how the site would behave by default if we try to access a PHP page or a HTML page. Let's just do a test here. So test.php. It gives us this error because it doesn't know how to handle .php pages. The same thing will happen with .html. See, we have the same message. Now, to address that, it's a two-step process. The first step is about changing a setting on the web config of the website and we have to find a section called handlers once we find that section we have to add a new handler for php and a new handler for html the name of the handler this can be any name i just put this name for example here but this is the php one this is the html one verb I'm putting for all verbs, get, post, whatever it is. It does need to be all verbs, to be honest, but I'm just going to keep it like that. Type is very important to be this one here. This is the same one used if the page would be .aspx. Resource type, keep as file, and precondition, keep it as integrated mode. So we will copy these two lines. And we're going to add those two lines to the handlers section of the web config. Once this is added, we can save this. I'm going to minimize. I'm going to go back to the site. And now I'm going to try this URL again. As you see, now DNN is responding to that URL, to the .html. If we try PHP. It responds as well. However, the test.php page doesn't exist or the test.html, they don't exist. That's the reason why we are getting redirected to a 404 error page. Now, with this done, the second step is to go to the new page location and add a redirect from the old URL to the new page. I'm going to give an example here. Let's say that we have the about us, our company. This is the new URL. However, it used to have an older URL. Let's say, let's go to the page settings. And then from here, let's go to advanced settings, SEO. 
here I can add another URL that will respond to this page as well. However, I'm not going to keep it as active. Active means that it's valid. It's not a valid URL. It's a 301 redirect URL. In this URL, for the sake of example, let's say it used to be called about slash company dot PHP. So we're going to do a 301 redirect from this URL if there is a link or if someone types in this URL. I'm going to copy this for a reference. I'm going to save. As you can see, it's showing here in the list as redirect 301. This was created by me as a super user and it will redirect to the active URL, which is the main one, the traditional one, this one here. Let's give it a try. So DNN92 forward slash about slash company dot PHP. When we try that, it's redirecting to the new location. It would be the same thing if this would be HTML instead of PHP. We can do the same thing here. We can add a new URL for the sake of example. And this time around, it's a dot HTML. It's a redirect save. And we can try this. Let's see what will happen if it's a dot HTML now. As you can see, it redirected to the new page name. So this is it. This is how you can one activate the response to dot PHP dot HTML on your DNN sites. And two, this is how you redirect older URLs from previous versions of the site. Maybe you are creating a new site to the new location. So you can keep the SEO juice of that older page into their new page. One note though, this approach works well for a limited number of pages. If you have a brochure website with not too many pages. However, if you have to do this for a massive amount of pages, hundreds or even thousands of pages of redirects, this is not the best approach because it's very labor intensive. You have to do this on each and every page. For a site that has a lot more pages to redirect, you may want to use a different approach. You may want to create those redirects directly in the web config using the rewrite rules that you can leverage from IIS. But this is the subject of another tip. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.